Knight Street is a bit of an institution mm. in Redcliffe. Yeah. Obviously, everyone's everyone's housed here by, yeah. the, by the track. Um, tell us your history in the street. Yeah, well, um, I grew up practically in Knight Street, and and um, and actually, this complex is where I started when I le first left school. This was um, Jack and Bob Ingham. Um, of Ingham's Chickens owned this and Ronnie McCall was their private trainer. Ronnie came up from Sydney. We had probably 50 horses in, in work here. There was the three allotments. Um, I lived, my grandparents built the house across the road. Um, I, you know, sort of grew up around there and grew up on the trotting track. Remember the trotting track and the old days of racing on a Saturday with no outside fence. Um, my dad was a driver. My dad worked for Rodney Belford. So, you know, the Belfords are up the end of the street. Um, Kenny Belford was in the middle of the street. We had a swimming hole there, completely different to the swimming hole that I've got here. It was like a keyhole. You went in, you, you walked around. Um, a lot of good trainers in this street back in the you know, 70s and 80s. Um, Sam Zemmett, he actually built this place before Ingham's bought it. So um, yeah, no, it's uh, been a good street to, to a lot of trainers. Steeped in harness history, this, this street. It, it, it is. Um, across the road, that was Bill Pascoe's stables. Um, you know, Robin Joseph's next door. I first started helping her dad, Ken, you know, when I was, you know, seven years old, Ken used to take me around on the track, um, on the side of the gig. And then one day he said, hang on to the reins. And that's sort of how I learned. And then as I got older, you know, you'd done a bit more. Eldon Papworth, um, you know, I, he, he run third in the Inter Dominion up here in 72. Um, and um, yeah, I, I worked for him, he was in the street. You know, a lot of good trainers have, have been in this street. Errol Holmes was another good trainer. He was right up the end of the street. Horses like Clear Time, Just For You, Fly For Home. We actually, um, that would have been early 80s, um, there was a match race done between Mick Dipman and Mel Shoemaker. Mick Dipman went and learned how to drive a trotter with Kevin Thomas. Mel Shoemaker used to turn up in his big black Trans Am with the big eagle on the bonnet up at our stables every morning and we taught him how to drive trotters. They had the race on the Saturday night on the old Albion Park track. Um, they called it a dead heat, but we always reckon Mel won it, but um, Mel had won the big race at Eagle Farm or Doombin that day, so they wanted to square the ledger to have Mick get a bit of, um, you know, um, accolades as well so they um, called that race a dead heat so yeah I've, I've seen a lot I you know um, there's only probably a few of us left in the street that sort of know the history of Knight Street like, like I do.